Walking up to Arthur R. Marshall Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge. Haven't been here in a little while. It's beautiful. Check out the information. There's all kinds of things to do here. Fishing, hunting, lots of different wildlife. There's trails and um, a bunch of opportunities to see alligators and nature. We've been into these observation towers a few times and they're pretty neat. You have to walk out, out to those. And here is some information about the trails as, as well as the refuge map. And um, over here talks a little bit about the National Wildlife Refuge System. And uh, there's a number of them here in Florida. If we do a close up look at the map of Florida, look at that. All the different kinds of animals and all the different National Wildlife Refuge Centers, um, Red Refuge Center, excuse me, um, in Florida. So here we are where the red dot is, right there at Arthur R. Marshall, Loxahatchee uh, Wildlife Refuge Center. And it is known for the American alligator. So pretty excited. Um, Doug, good morning. Hi, good morning. Are you excited to be here today? Uh, yeah, I'm surprised to be on camera. Does my hair look good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's Saturday morning, it's the start of the weekend, and we're just like, you know, we're in beautiful Florida. Let's just get outdoors somewhere. You can see the beautiful sunny sky we have today, or not. <laughs> it's but overcast. It it's a beautiful us? day. No, we're getting out there anyway. Make the most of the moment. That's the moment. Yeah, we're walking along. Doug, let me hold the uh, camera for a minute. <laughs> I can't hog it all to myself now. <laughs> so, this is just a beautiful adventure. It's nice to get out and go for a walk together. It's a little slippery, by the way, so be careful when you come out. The thing I have to say is that when people are watching videos, they often enjoy hearing what people have to say, but out here, it's nice to not say anything, just to listen, hear what the birds have to say, hear what, what alligators do in nature. You know, just the sounds of Florida nature, it's just beautiful. I love the experience of listening out here, you know, where masks have become such a big part of uh, necessary survival in the COVID era. It's nice to get out to nature and have a place where you can breathe in the nature there's so much oxygen to be taken in here here you know, we release that carbon dioxide nature gives us that oxygen back this is a place to go i feel great these lungs today oh, look at that you can see the cypress knots here we were looking at the sign so all those little protrusions of wood coming out of the water those are connected to the cypress trees we see here and Holy cow, check out that tree. If you follow this tree, you will see that it is two trees that have entwined into each other. Look at that. And then they separate as they go into the sky. Wow. That is really incredible to see and appreciate how nature just can be so symbiotic in some ways. Wow. So mammals and scat.
Okay, we came out of the uh, Watching Nature Trail and now we're on the Marsh Trail, which takes us along a lot of the canals. And you have to be very cautious when you're here. Uh, well, last time we were here, there's a number of alligators out. And we also saw some baby alligators that our trail tour guide had taken us to see. So it only, only mean there's a mother nearby. Yep. So don't let's make them angry. look over here. This is the side where the mom with the babies were. And that was probably like two years ago we were here. Still really amazing. Oh, I see a viewing tower over there. Yeah, I was actually just mentioning that. How cool was that, huh? Is that where you went years ago? Where the alligator followed us? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. This is the end of the adventure. Um, I don't know the words, probably. Uh, a little creeped out, but it was cool. It was a lot of fun. I mean, you go out into nature and you never know what you're gonna get. We saw a river otter shoot out of the water and just went like like this, like hopping across the, 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 the trail, across the road, it was so cool. And then uh, as we're walking down that skinny path there it, where, it, to where gator territory is, just suddenly, poof, a bush, moves and a giant eager takes off so those things really put you on edge so just be aware of your surroundings be smart be careful i kind of keep jingling the keys in my pocket just to create a little commotion it's just like let's be safe let's be intentional let's keep that way and we go up to uh the uh, just observation tower observation towers we're on our way to the observation tower going from where the picnic area was we just and it's in the widest greenest path the one we didn't even walk up we were like oh that'll be nice to go back more it's like we should go back that way and then suddenly we see it had to be eight foot just this massive hulking alligator just comes out of the water and crawls across the way over the bank into the other side of the water Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, we gonna be safe going back that way? Should we go that way? Because he's already left the water and gone the other side and probably not going back. But uh, you know what? It's amazing, that's nature. You can sit in your house and never come to a place like this and haters aren't gonna get you in the living room. But it was a lot of fun, it was a real adventure. I'm relieved we made it back. We'll be able to make future, that's the moments. We survived. Remember to like and subscribe. TTM, that's the moment. Arthur Marshall, Wildlife Preserve.